Hello everybody, my name is Z Money Gaming HD and welcome back to World Trade Center Lobby Part 3. Alright, so here we go. So while I've been uploading the videos, as you see, I've been progressing just to get a little bit more done for you guys. So you know in the next video it will be ready. So for the door designs, you can do like this, which is gray terracotta. You can get the uh, uh what is that? Gray gray i am bars i can't never remember the name and then get um damn a <laughs> pillar pillar course block and then that's it that's all you got to do for the door right there and then up top like i said before you can put the black glass put black glass on all of these up here and now let's go on to the done side that i've just finished doing now this is what we want to put in your world trade center this is what we're going to do so, let me do it on the other side, shall, shall we? So, what you want to do is get your light gray stained glass pane, right? Alright, now we want to do like this. So, go one, two, then one in, and then two out, and then one in. Alright, so make sure you have like, oh yeah, on the West Street side, right? West Street, this is Marriott side, and number six. On this side this is where you want to put the fence I mean fence. you want to put the glass right here on the other side though you don't want to put the glass out there okay let's keep it in here all right so let's go back over here all right so what you want to do is like that and on the other side do the same thing but just do it one in so right here we do it then go in one two and then BAM and then now what you want to do is make like a straight line sort of so one two three like that it is already looking wait, wait, wait. let me see what I did over here for this one okay yeah I curved it the other way okay Ooh, almost wanna oh yeah I'm gonna tell you how to add in the stairs too so you want to curve it this way and then put two here and then you want to put one here if I'm going way too fast, I am sorry. I'm going to go slow on the other side. All right, so when you get to the middle, right, the three, this is what everybody needs is the three. Once you get to the three, you want to go like this. You want to make a square, basically. So just make a square, right, a half-done square without the front piece. You don't want to put the front piece. Just do like that. So you have that on that side. Now you want to double this up by one. So do this one more time. like that and then now what you want to do is get a court so like that and just leave it like that now we're gonna do the other side I'm gonna do the other side slowly West Street side now so this one is a little bit different so what you want to do is still make the line right like that make a L now you're gonna go over here into in front of the two blocks and make one one all right, and then put one little thing out there. And then now for the plant area. Now you want to put a, let's see what I did over here. Uh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha, heard you. Okay. Now for the plant side, what you want to do is, of course, not let it rain. Just this minute. Okay, so what you want to do is at the L right here, West Street side L. Put a block right there. Stone. You can use anything. I just use stone. And then for the three part, the middle, put one, two. After you put one, two, go to this part, the other L, and put one. Now you can get whatever type of leaves you want. I choose oak leaves. Just put it on top. And for one thing that you could do is put a sign right there. Put a sign right there. Put a sign. Put a sign. Uh, you put a sign, put a sign. The only reason I didn't put a sign here is because I only allow you to put one. And uh, yeah, maybe you can put like a little desk right there if you want. Sure, that works too. Put a sign, <clears throat> put a sign, and there you go. Now you have your little operation area where people can walk in and press the elevator. Why elevator come for it? They walk in, you know, go to wherever they're designator destination is 
All right, so now since you have that, now the carpet I am using. This is the carpet that, you know, the day of 9-11. I don't know why I chose this carpet. It's just because if they had a gray carpet that day, and so, you know, their last carpet color was this one. So I just want to make this one, you know, the one that's in mind. Not, not saying that, you know, it's 9-11 in my game, just, you know, just as a, if 9-11 never happened as we moved on. Like the twin towers are still here so that's the color i'm gonna do my carpet you can do it for the north tower put the carpet red if you don't want to do this put it red or you could put a purple because i think in the late 70s they had a purple or red whatever one but the south tower put green and yeah or you can put red in that one it, it honestly i would do red in here green in the south honestly all right so now we're going to come up to here right so my thing is pretty spacious. It has the two lights like the real one. So what we want to do down here is one block away from the wall, you want to get your light gray stained glass pane and go around enough area suitable for your staircase to go down. Now for me, it was about one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, and then two, and then six again. So that was how much it was for me. So we're just going to like that but anyway that's the stairs for you and yes you will have to cut over one of the beams right here but that was just for me I don't know if it's gonna happen for you but that was for me so now what I want to hurry up and get to is this carpet now what we want to do for the carpet get gray carpet get any kind of carpet you want but if it's red carpet you want to place the carpet everywhere except for in certain spots but if you really want that too I guess I can show you an example but for now, I'm doing a gray carpet. If you're doing that too, thank, thank you, because you know you're making it easy. But let's see, get your gray carpet. We're gonna place it all in front of this, right? Let's do it on the other side too. Place it right in front of here. <clears throat> then what you want to do is in the middle, put three. If you guys look up a picture of it, of the lobby, you'll see that it was an indent right there and all that. And now what we're going to do is go uh, across four. So we're going to go one up four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. And then we're going to two, go two. One, two. We're line up with the other carpet. Then we're going to go back until there's three blocks behind. So three right there. I'm sorry if I'm going fast, guys. I really am if I'm going too fast. Just got let, let, let me know if I need to slow down. But basically, we're going to do that. And I'll do it slow on this side. So go up one. Go over four. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to go two. One, two. So at the end, four and then two. Then bring it back all the way until there's three blocks behind it. And then what you want to do is connect it and fill it. That's all we're doing. Connecting and filling it. It's kind of like a you know a win-win situation because I'm actually doing my world trace in a while. I'm helping you with yours. So it's like... It's a win-win, I guess you can say. But let's fill in this part. All we want to do right now is fill in the carpet. Pretty much what we're doing. All right. And then you want to fill in this side. Hopefully I have enough time to show you inside the elevator part, because that's the part I'm trying to get to next. I might just have to put it in the next video, I don't know. Hopefully I can put it in this one. Okay, fill in this part. And there you guys go, fill in this last. And there you go. This is like the little carpet sort of style that they had. And now what you want to do for the up part, right? You want to get your glass, put it around just like this on the first block. So and just put it around here. Make sure nobody falls, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't want no accidents up in the World Trade Center. And like I said, this goes for both towers if you want, you know. I wouldn't choose to do the gray in the... I'm Actually, no, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. But if you want to do the red carpet, do the red uh, in the north, green in the south. That's just what I'm, you know, expressing to you guys. All right, so when we get over to this wall, right, we are on the wall of the Marriott. Believe it or not, it's going to be. 
we are on the wall right here. So what we're going to do is if you guys did the underline that I did, I don't know, it's not going to match up with mine unless you're doing the 10 trident, you know, space by three like I am. It is going to match up. But if you're doing a whole nother World Trade Center, it could match up. Just don't worry. Just follow me, follow me. All right. So if you put a line here, right, on a second line that you put underneath to make it look like this cool uh, underline, what we're going to do is go back, right? So go back four on the first one. Actually, go back four on the first two. Or however big your thing is. If you go back five, just make it connect to the next uh, trident. You know, or not trident. Um, make it connect to the uh, the overhanging thing right here. See this overlay right here? Yeah, make it connect there. So every time the overlay wants to connect, make the wall go forward. Not forward, but just like, okay. Let me see. The wall was up here, right? The wall was like up here. And then I deleted the wall and made it go back one. So basically, you're just deleting the wall and making it go back one for this part. And just keep doing it the whole way down till you get to the end where the mall's going to be. So once you do that part, then you're going to be set. But now what you want to do is break this, right? So you want to just make like a two entrance right here. So you have all your walls, but you just want to separate the walls into two at one point. Just make one section like I did right here. So now what we're going to do is there's two options. We could, you know, make it look nice. Put some glass right there. Make it connect to there. And then put that. And that will right there will be your entrance to the Marriott. Or we can do opposite. Whatever floats your boat. But I'm going to leave it like this because I think that looks good. All right. And so now we're going to get, um, you can decorate it more with more plants if you guys are like, uh, you know, add a plant or two in here. Plant it up if you want to. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this side. But now <clears throat> what I want to do is the inside of here. But let me do the doors first on this side. So. Let's get our uh, block of quartz. Let's go back one block. Do not go back any more than this block. One simple block like this. Like that, just go back. And over here for the south tower, this is gonna be a little bit different. Okay, so over here, instead of the Marriott entrance, there's going to be a... Uh, Actually, I think there is a Marriott entrance. I'm not okay. I'll I'll tell you guys. I'll update you guys in the next video. But there's something different over here, and I'll I'll eventually show you that. But let's get back to this. So we're gonna double up the wall. Now we want to put the um. Is that where we want it? Yeah. Is that where we want it? Okay, it is. So we're gonna get our um. Pillar quartz block. Go up three. Just gonna go up three for each one. Now, if you have a bigger World Trade Center, like I said, you might even want to go up four, however big your World Trade Center is. But then I'm going to get Scion, Terracotta. I'm going to go two over each one. Oh, messed up. Two over each one. Then we're going to go get the iron bars from this side and bring it to the other side. And that, that looks all crazy. Okay, so we're going to move it back one. Actually, yeah, because looking from the front, that was looking like a whole hurricane. So let's move it back all one. If you did it too close or if you were smart and wait because you knew I was going to mess up. And uh, lucky for you, lucky for you. But let's just delete these, Put move the doors back one. Like that, do we move the, uh, yeah, and move the terracotta back one as well. So delete the terracotta, move the back one. Alright, and so now after you do this, you should look like this. Don't forget the iron bars. Put it on there, put it on there, put it on there. And there you go. And of course, add your buttons. 
and this is what you should be looking like after we finish this part of the lobby. Got your Marriott entrance, and same thing for the other side. Make sure you have um, the walls can go back on this side too. It's however you feel like you should design it. But um, yeah. Oh yeah, and add some torches over here. It is it is, it is mighty dark over here. So we're gonna get our torch, zoom all the way to the other side. And what I would do is put them on the top. So just one, two, put one in the middle, one, two, one, and there you go. So now you have some extra light in here. And meanwhile, while it doesn't rain inside of my building. Okay, there we go. And uh, yeah, that's what you should be having right now. And I will see you guys in part four. Remember, if you guys are enjoying it and you want the parts to come as quickly as they are right now, make sure you leave a like, comment, you know, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I will see all of you guys in part four. In part four, I'm hoping to get, you know, the lights. And I'm hoping to get in here done in part four. All right, so make sure you guys, you know, new to the channel, subscribe. And I will see all of you in the next video. Oh, hold on. Peace. I'm out.